Good morning to you. It is a new day and a new dawn and a new chance to achieve all of your hopes and goals and dreams and you're watching the weekly that's not really a weekly, it's more of a daily that I upload every week. Ba -bum 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 -ch 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 -um. uh, this is weekly the TNW, the new weekly number two. Thank you so much for all of your comments on the old weekly. Not the old weekly, last week's weekly. Maybe we need a new, no, we're sticking with the new weekly for the whole year and then we'll sort out a new name next year. Um, I really appreciate it because I know that when you're used to something a certain way and then someone goes and changes it, that can be, that can be quite hard. I'm, I'm aware that like my little video on a Sunday is not a big part of your week and I'm thinking about it more than any of you are, but I don't know, when YouTubers are like change things, I'm like, hey guys, I liked how that was and you've changed it and I'm not happy about that. So I appreciate all the support. I also appreciate all the kindness on my beauty video. I uploaded it last night for my time, but for you, watching this on Sunday, it went up on Wednesday and it's called, the title of it, if you're thinking, I'd like to go and watch that. I've got my laptop in the, in the bathroom, of course. It's called Luxury and Budget Best Makeup. Um, I've overdone it on the cream and basically I just went through the tried and tested makeup of last year the stuff that I've repurchased over and over or used so much that I've like run out of it and love it and think that you'd love it too I tried to include um, a range of products so it went from uh, this product which is two pounds I think the most expensive was this which is a perfume that's 47 pounds this is the Jo Malone one which I freaking love um, and I got a lot of really nice comments saying thank you for doing a range of prices and sharing the prices. So in future beauty videos, I'll do that again because that went down well, which I can understand because there's nothing worse than watching like a haul video and being like, oh, great, now I've got the bug to go shopping, but I can't get any of that. I get it. I watch a lot of haul videos and think, huh, maybe not. Um, one of the comments on that beauty video was you would like to see a get ready with me. Um, I will do a dedicated get ready with me. In fact, I was thinking I might film one this week because I'm going on a date with me. <laughs> I haven't just like put me into one side and going on a date with someone else off Tinder. Um, that's where I met Liam, Tinder. And didn't that work out well? <clears throat> I met a few other people on Tinder that it didn't, it didn't work out quite as well. But this one... I'm going to keep him. I keep telling him every year I'm going to renew your contract and keep you for another year. Um, I laugh at that. He's like, okay, babe. That was funny the first year. I'm like, ah, I'm going to renew your contract. <laughs> oh, funny times. I need to get out more. Um, yeah, but because you all asked for a get ready with me, I thought, well, you can get ready with me this morning if you like. It's not super glamorous. Um, I'm going to Costco this morning. I will tell you about my love for Costco in a mo, but I've already put some moisturiser on, I've gone for the Nivea Daily Essentials, two pounds. I am sad that my Ole Whips, where's the pot? Not in here. My Ole Whips um, has run out, I need to get some more of that. I'm hoping I might see it in Costco, because sometimes they do things in bulk, like last time I went I bought all my deodorants in bulk, and it was much more affordable than keep buying one or two deodorants, you know? Um, right, bit of foundation. I'm just going to do my makeup now because I'm running late and put my dun, 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 music on top. with Esther so uh, I will do a bit more get ready with me next week um, but all I'm gonna do is finish off lipstick uh, eyes finish off lipstick and put my hair down so you'll see me all done in a second I'm all ready to go out and look at this little squisher look at this little squisher she's having the morning with her lovely nanny today so I think they're gonna go to a baby group have a nice time aren't you my love yes oh 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 Oh, exit stage left. I got in the car in good time, but then forgot that I have to wait for it all to defrost. 
and it will take ages and I will be late and Essa will make a comment about it. Whilst we're waiting for the stuff to, the, the ice to come off, can we talk about the joy of spotty leggings, please? Pick these up in America from Old Navy. They're sort of a trouser and sort of a legging. Like the fabric of a legging, but I feel like they're more, more than a legging. You are more than a legging. Got a big fluffy jumper on that Joni one that I put on Instagram the other day. And white trainers. And I feel like I'm ready. I'm just, I'm just ready to walk around Costco all morning. Yes. It's not started well in Esther's car. I'm completely trapped. Oh. Are you all right? Do you need a hand? I need to get this up because my seat I falls down. Um, should we just? Should we call Raj? Should we just use? Just is there a, is there um, a button? There's lots of buttons. I'm pressing them all and nothing's happening. Is there? Oh, right. This calls for Raj. Yeah, get Raj. Until then, I'll just stay like completely wedged in my little in my little slot here. Righty, I'm here with my beloved Glory B. It is Esther. She is but zero and forty. Zero and forty. How did they say forty in the olden days? Because they used to say things like she is but four and twenty. She is but four and twenty. Mm -hmm. So I am but three and thirty. But what are you? You are but but forty. They'd just say forty, wouldn't they? Because if they're saying four and forty, they'd just say four. Or well, maybe four score. What would they say? She is but four score. Yeah, because they, no, in, they used to I'll say four score and seventy or something, didn't they? Did they? I don't know. She has but fifty shillings. <laughs> so she has a fortune of two thousand pounds. <laughs> that is a fortune still. Right. So we're going to one of our favourite places on earth. It is Costco. Now I haven't prepped Esther on this, but Esther, aside from Costco, what's your favourite supermarket? <laughs> we love a bargain. Yeah. Now, this is how I feel about supermarkets. I want to pick little bit. Hang on, I'm trying to get everyone in shop. So with supermarkets, I want to pick little bits from every supermarket and make the most supreme supermarket. I'm going to tell you my. Oh gosh, I'm going the wrong way. Now turn left. Right. Sorry about this. It's all right. We we'll just have a little tour of the roundabout. Yeah. Now okay. turn left. We are turning left. We couldn't be going more left if we tried. Please leave oh. the roundabout. <laughs> A4146 towards Milton Keynes That's South. where I was going. That's where we're going. <laughs> right, this is how I want a supermarket to be. I want all the cheeses and all the wines of Lidl. Um, and also, the, I like the bakery in Lidl as well. And I like the prices in Lidl. I want all the prices left. of Lidl. I want a couple of the... I like the meat in Lidl. Well, I've not tried much of the meat because I don't eat a lot of meat. Yeah, but it's great. I really like the chicken um, that they do in Waitrose, like the spatch cooked lemon and herb spread out. They do that in Lidl. Do they? Yes. I'll to give that a go. Yeah. Please leave the bar. In fact, most supermarkets do spatch cooked chicken. Oh, I've never seen it. Yeah. Um, I've not been looking though. I want the Padron peppers that Sainsbury's do because I never see Padron peppers anywhere else. So, everywhere, please, Padron peppers. But I also want the like fizzy joy that you find in Costco when you see large items like when you see everything larger that's exciting I want that in a supermarket what would you pick from supermarkets I haven't included Tesco's or Morrison's in here but what what would be your ideal supermarket Esther go well again I have to be honest it's little <laughs> it's just little it is little because I find that they've got absolutely everything that I need. They've got all the fruit and veg. They've got all the oh, yogurt. Oh, I forgot to say fruit and fruit veg. They, brilliant. They do do good fruit yogurt. and veg. Um, their frozen bits are great. Their, their wine is... <laughs> Esther's not sponsored by Lidl, and nor am I anymore, by I the love, way. That contract's ended. Their, <laughs> I love their wine. It's the only wine that I drink. Um, Have you tried their ice wine? Have I told you about ice wine? I learned all about this. So, if you're new... Ice wine. It's not iced wine, it's just ice wine. You've done that. So last year, I had a brand partnership with Lidl to um, show their Christmas range. I'm not sponsored by them anymore, um, but I absolutely loved working with them and I really learned so much about the brand. And they do ice wine, so I learned this when I went to that like taster day, and it's grapes that are grown in Canada in frozen like frozen they're grown and then they freeze the grapes are frozen and they harvest them when they're frozen 
and they get the juice out of them but because they're something to do with throat as they frozen again and they're smaller the concentration is much stronger so the bottle of wine is like a really skinny bottle what's but it it's called ice wine and well, it's really sweet and it's really really sweet and it's really really sweet and it doesn't look like a wine bottle so maybe that's why it's like a sucked in wine bottle like a skinny it's almost like a spirits bottle i should go later and have a look it's incredible it's very sweet and you don't need like a big glass you have like a little like a sherry glass full the only thing that i don't buy from lidl always is drink glass. responsibly and only drink if you're only over the illegal age of drinking by the way i've got yeah. an eye twitch panicking about all oh, i'm talking about alcohol one of the best things about being married god i'm not selling marriage well is that my ex-husband's mother-in-law uh, no my ex-husband's mother so my mother-in-law used to have a costco membership and she used to come around every time she came around she'd bring like a huge box of washing powder so I'm, well oh god Mr. Please. <laughs> we're taking off. We're here. But I don't know okay. whether we are. Well, we're at the Volkswagen garage. That's keep going. How do you know if the Volkswagen garage is anywhere near Costco? Well, what does the sound? Just keep going. Follow oh, the sound. Right. My eye's twitching, SML. I'm getting a twitch. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> is there, is there a sign oh, yeah. Oh, I just love it. I love the big. Oh, here we are. Oh. What are you in the market for? Please what do you actually want to get? Food. I'm back on the WW, formerly known as Weight Watchers, the artist formerly known as Prince, uh, bandwagon. Do you know, it looks very empty. It doesn't open till 10, my love. What are we doing being here now? Well, you said get to you on the dot of nine. So because I, I thought it opened at well, we'll the be crack the, of dawn. We'll be the first shoppers in, won't we? We've got 20 minutes to kill. What are we going to do? Chat about our lives. Oh, God, I've got a cup of coffee. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try and make healthy choices. This is my one choice you need to help me with, Esther. You must not let me purchase the deep fried cheesy jalapenos. Okay. Because although on WW I could track them and just have one or two, I, c I can't, I'm incapable. Oh, oh, you are just going through that little tiny gap. I can't trust myself to not have 20. It's a problem. Got a real treat for you now i'm going to show you the photo on my costco card it's one of the worst photos <laughs> esther what is your photo as bad as this get yours out <laughs> esther yours just looks nice esther look you you just look like you yeah, i just look I like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i look like i don't know I've got the world's largest trolley which i'm almost going into a tv do you want to buy a tv <laughs> look at these the first thing you see is TVs and then jewellery over there. Oh, you can get cleaning things. Oh, yeah. Wow. That was £15 for two bags of 80. So, oh, Esther's found a sample. Look at her. She's straight in with the samples. I've skipped all of the electrical things like computers and TVs and whatnot. And I'm going to go into the uh, body stuff like toiletries stuff i read an article last night about period poverty and how girls in the uk are missing school because they don't have enough uh, feminine hygiene products have you heard of period poverty yes dreadful yes so i want to buy some all because always are a brand that supports it and donates and such i'm sure there's other brands that do as well but that's the one that was noticed in the article so I want one to of buy the toilet roll companies is um, supporting it as well i think about the andrex good mm. um so i'm going to buy some always pads and then take them to the food banks we've got one right by us because you never think to take things like that to a food bank do you, you just think you take food but if you're struggling with financials to buy food you're struggling with yeah, things like that as well so i'm on, on the lookout for big packs of it this is what i'm excited about 5.99 for a whole one of these this is hand soap everybody's already oh seven. Oh, that swizzed me Still, still okay with it. Everybody's got this, these pots at home, haven't they? I've got one in every bathroom, but you could just keep refilling it and then you don't have to keep buying lots of little plastic pots like these. Although I wish this was the giant one in the Coca-Cola. If ever you see a Carex Coca-Cola in this size, buy all of them. All of them, a palette. I'm glad that you get behind these <laughs> things and don't even question it. I'm really tempted by this. It's the Radox Muscle Soak. It's 3.58 for two, but I've just been 
They are big. I've just been gifted loads and loads of lush things. Give the lush things. <laughs> no, I want to keep the lush things. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to use up what I've got before I like fill the bathrooms with more stuff. Ooh, magazines. <laughs> I'm trying to use up what I've got. Ooh, magazines. Here we go. £4.60 for these big jumbo packs. So I'll get one of you and one of you. I don't know whether to get tampons for the bank as well. And one of you. Uh, yeah, might as well, might I? I'd love to get more involved with helping out with period poverty. I don't know how to though, other than just buying a few bits to drop off at a food bank but if there's another way and you know this can you tell me in the comments please and now a man is coming and i'm talking to the tampons so i'll leave it here yes they've got loads of the ole stuff i really want the whips one i don't want the normal one which is also good but i want the whips one do they have it it's so good if you get the opportunity to try it oh they don't have ole whips probably because it's like their newest release and it's most popular no, no whips. Oh. Do I need almond butter in my life? Whenever you see recipes for things of people doing like protein pancakes or smoothies or I don't know, they always have almond butter. Esther, have you ever tried almond butter? Do you have almond butter? No. It's it's it. the it's the butter du jour. It's, I think it must be like peanut butter. I always see it on like vloggers. Stuff, almond butter. Uh -oh. there was always a tin of biscuits. Everyone had a tin of biscuits in the olden days. Look at those giant jams. Oh. Giant jams. Oh. I, it is a nice jam as well. Lady next to us at Breeze. There is this a good deal. It's 3 29 for this much salt, but didn't we get loads and loads of salt in Lidl? Where are you? It's the exact same one from Lidl. Yeah, it's, Lidl has it for cheaper. So sometimes Costco isn't isn't the best deal. Louise is demonstrating how she's going to put a bed. <laughs> it's it's, oh gosh, careful of your hands. For a children's room. Oh. Even better, you can just sit on it. Is it comfy? Yes, yeah, it's, it's the most comfortable off your life. Do some exercise. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I am not going to buy the Jalapeno Flamers. <gasps> they are my downfall, but they are so good. So good. I'm in the cold bit and I'm looking for a specific salad. This might be broccoli. Yes. Oh, well. That wasn't much of a story, was it? This is the best salad, broccoli salad. I'm gonna see if you can freeze it, because if you can, I am going to stock up on this. It's so yummy. It's got cashews and um, create like cranberries. It has a lovely sauce. Oh look, it's all written up here. So if this is freezeable, I'm gonna get a few bags of this. We all remember 2012 playlist. Anyone been around that long? How gorgeous is this mirror please look at the detailing on it that is such a lovely mirror it's 79 oh 95 pounds you're on the lookout for a lovely ornate mirror come to costco <laughs> has anybody got this it's the phillips easy crease removal everyday steamer it looks like this um, and I was saying to Liam we should get a steamer because we hate ironing, but does it work? I only want to buy it if it 100% is amazing and works amazingly. Does anyone do this instead of ironing? I'm not going to buy it until I've had some reviews and done a bit of research. It is £77 in here. What do you think? Help me. I'm home and I've got to unpack all of the shopping. I love going food shopping, but I hate unpacking it mainly because my cupboards need sorting out desperately. I always say, I think I'm gonna sort out a cupboard and then I just never do. I get distracted with something. You know what it's like, you've got jobs to do and you have a job and kids and or homework or you wanna just socialize or you wanna just sit down. Um, currently I can't sit down because the sofa is full of 
laundry that we've sorted out and here's two of my purchases one good and one more of a treat i'm trying these these are crisps tortilla chips hummus and red bell pepper thought they might be nice i have just noticed though the packet looks enormous but the crisps start just here someone once told me when i went on a bit of a rant about how um why do they do that why don't they just make the bag smaller apparently you need to have that air in there but surely you don't want air in there does anyone know the science behind this and then this i'm really happy with i showed you this in store a big old doodah of hand soap i've been wanting to do something like this for ages i was scared to talk about this because i feel like i'm a hypocrite but i really want to cut down on how much plastic and waste we have but i know when i say that I'm opening myself up for people to point out how much plastic and waste we have, which is a lot. And I hello cat, I don't want to like position myself as some kind of like environmental do-gooder when I know that I could be doing a lot better. But I suppose it's small small steps and little changes and they all add up, don't they? What do you think? You smell like soil. And there's something wet on you which makes me wish I hadn't picked you up. Nine glitter points, if you can tell which one this is. Oh, oh, you smell like Mother Earth. Oh, I love you. Oh, you don't love me. Oh, okay, you don't love me at all. Ow, and we out. <sighs> yeah, it's time to unpack everything. Um, shall I quickly show you what I got? You can fast forward if you don't want to know. Some of it's quite good, quite healthy. Some of it, not so much. By the way, I just had you sat here, but this is what I mean about like the mess i want to get some clear tubs and like decant all this sort of stuff and you know nobody's cupboards are perfect are they but oh uh, you can relate so this is the costco haul i got some orange squashes because liam and darcy drink so much squash and we're always buying this little bottle so i thought just get some big ones and be done with it um how am i gonna go about doing this here we go I bought these for Darcy and Pearl. So these are like little dried fruity things. Let's take them out as I go. Little dried fruity things. We got mango and we picked up craisins, which is cranberries. This needs to go in the freezer and these are so yummy. I bought these last time. They are the yakisoba little noodle things. Basically, I'll open them for you. Here we go. They come in these little pouches. Oh wow, that is some a strong glue. My God. Wow. Wow, Yaki Soba, you have gone extra on that. You get these little do flippies, you put them in a bowl, put them in the microwave for three or four minutes, and you have a lovely little lunch just there. I did um, check the points of them for WW, it said five, but it said five per 100 gram. So how many grams is this? Let's weigh it, shall we? Let's be people that weigh things. Wah, 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 wah. This is the best little thing. I bought it from Argos. Right, on. Oh, wow. Oh dear. These are 274 grams, so these are like 12 points a go. Still though, you can you can you can work that in. Um, I bought loads of period products. I'm going to give those to the food bank for um, for the food bank, obviously. I bought two books which I think are so nice. They're the Usborne books, and we've got Look Inside Nature and Look Inside How It Works. And before bed, Darcy likes to read before she goes to sleep. And I thought she would really enjoy this because there's lots of little bits to look at. And also, oh, I've got fluff on my nail. Um, and also, when she kind of grows out of this, like it's just interesting, isn't it, to look at? When she grows out of it, Pearly Girl can enjoy that as well. And the How Things Work one is a similar format. So I'm happy with those. For under £10, um, 15 I think it was um chicken breast mini fillets i'm going to start being a bit bolder with touching meat um i've started cooking a little bit more so i'm going to be cooking meat a bit more and to go on it because i don't just like grilled chicken breast on its own i've got some seasoning this is just chicken seasoning because i don't know what seasoning is what you know when people are like this is where i keep my spice rack i don't have a spice rack because i don't know what to do with spices almond butter because if you're going to try something new why not buy the biggest pot of it there ever was jam 
I got some pine nuts because I always put pine nuts in pesto pasta and I make pesto pasta a lot. A whole lot of shower gels. This is the most lovely shower gel. It's the um, <clears throat> original source mint tingly tea tree. We'll say every time I show this in a video, I will guarantee get some comments from people saying, don't put it on your bits because it stings. I would just say to you, don't put shower gel on your bits anyway. So public service announcement, don't rub this around your vagina or penis because um, it might sting. Um, on to soft and chewy granola bars. I bought these for doodles, for snacks, to stop her having like all the other snacks she wants. There are, oh, there are 100 calories per bar. I thought it said there are 100 bars in here. I was like, wow, that's amazing. But there's 60 bars in there. I'm running out of space. Um, chicken tenders, we've had these before, really liked them. We didn't use the dips, but we could do this time. Toothpaste for our tooths. Weetabix is the number one cereal we get through in this house. Liam has it, Darcy has it, and Pearl has it every day. I don't have a lot of cereal, really, but they all love it, so that will go down very quickly. For Liam to take into work for his team, I got some cream eggs, I thought they would all like that going to move you over here now because my box is down here um i got original um mission deli wraps uh like tortilla wraps what i want to do is with the tuna that i bought here i'm going to do little tuna and cheese like wraps and then just put them on a frying pan to crisp up i saw that in an emily norris vlog ages ago where she did like what her children eat in a day and i thought that was such a great idea for like a really easy dinner to put like tuna in it cheese in it maybe some sweet corn in it and then serve it with veggies like that feels like a treat meal but they're like getting some secret veg in there this is my favorite cheese ever this is the mexicana hot slices and what i like to do with these if i'm feeling luxurious which i often am boys and girls is where is it oh i've got a whole tray of heinz tomato soups i like to put a box Pour the tomato soup into a bowl and then put a slice of this on but submerge it sliced slightly, put it in the microwave, heat it all up. This all melts into like a spicy cheesy goo on the top of a tomato soup and oh my goodness it is so nice. Uh, I bought for £19.12 so a lot but worth it. Um, a great big fillet of salmon and what we do with this is we cut it, I say we, our lovely nanny because I don't like to touch fish, well she'll cut this up and then she'll put portions of it in the freezer and she'll make different meals for the children with it and then put them in the freezer so that then I can just heat them up which is fantastic and oh, I would love to talk more about having a nanny but I'm aware that it's pretty niche, like not most people go down like the nursery or childminder route but I don't know if you've got any questions about having a nanny, hiring a nanny, what it's like, let me know because it's worked so, so, so well for us and I basically love her and never want her to leave us, ever. Like I want her to be our nanny till the children, well, until I die basically. I want her to be my nanny, she's so nice. Moving on, I bought two meals that are ready, ready meals. The Kirkland Signature Chicken and Chorizo Rice Bake. We had that last time and it was delicious. And what we'll do is Liam and I We'll share this with the children and then whatever's left he'll take to work the next day for his lunch so it works out well that way and then thought i'd try something new these are 7.99 by the way both of these this is the chicken and broccoli pasta bake thought that sounded quite yummy how did they get in there pearl's birthday party is coming up so Obviously neither, she's not gonna eat them, but we've got lots of other children coming to that. So I thought I'd put some of those in a bowl and I definitely wouldn't eat any of those myself because I absolutely would never eat sweets. Um, some tortellini or tortelloni. I call this parcel pasta um, in the ricotta and spinach flavor. Darcy absolutely loves this. This is her favorite dinner is parcel pasta. So bought that. I bought a tub of frozen raspberries because I am outraged at how much berries cost in the supermarket. Well, I know why they're so expensive because we have to grow them like out of England because we don't have a hot climate, but they're so expensive. So, and I like to give the girls berries. Oh, my battery's going. Oh, I like to give girls berries with their breakfast, but what I'm going to do is start taking a handful of these out the night before and doing overnight oats or putting them in natural yogurt to kind of defrost into the yogurt and then they flavor the yogurt. And they'll still be getting berries, but 
I am not spending a fortune and then having little packets go off in the fridge and all that kind of stuff. My favourite ever pasta salad in the whole world, the broccoli salad. Unfortunately, you can't freeze it, I don't think. And then finally, dishwasher tablets. Um, and I thought these were a good deal because dishwasher tablets are quite pricey, can't they? I love it. In summary to the Costco experience, if you have the opportunity to join it, I thoroughly recommend it. I love it. I don't know fully, fully, fully how much I've actually saved because, I mean, I don't think I would have bought some of the stuff if it was in the regular supermarket, if I'm really honest with myself. So it's novel to buy so much. It means I don't have to go to the supermarket as much. Um, but I've re since working with Lidl, I've really become much less of a supermarket snob, which I was kind of becoming a bit. So... Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed this, but uh, I hope you have too. Right, let's waffle. I'm going to put all this away and I'm going to do a little bit of work. I had the salad of dreams and it was delicious. And now I'm going to sit at my desk and force myself to do some writing. I'll give you a bit of a desk tour before I do because I'm hashtag procrastinating. So what do we have on the desk of Louise today? Well, boys and girls, all sorts of exciting artefacts. We'll start over here. Um, this, on this side, da, 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 uh, there's four pages and that is Wild 3 written out, but I've flipped it over, so there's no spoilers. We've got a lamp. We've got some, uh, frames on the desk. We have a pot of pens. Most of them are useless ones that I don't use, but they've all just found their way in there. A little gift that I was given by my friend Fiona, which is so nice of her. You are awesome. It's got little quotes in. Uh, the elves left their letters here, so I still need to put those away with the Christmas things. A magazine. This is the Breathe Journal. I love uh, Breathe Magazine. It's so nice. My laptop here. This is controversial. This is a really old, quite disgusting pillowcase. I'm sort of going to hide it now. <clears throat> That's like my little comfort thing. Feel free to slate me to the hilt for having that. I'm 33. I do not need to have a little lovey. I should have given that up when I was, well, uh, very little, like before I started school. But here I am still having it. Uh, I could give it up if I wanted to, but just don't want to. Is there anyone out there that still has a lovey as an adult? Um, once, when I was seeing um, a psychiatrist, not a psychiatrist, a psychotherapist when I was really little, um, they said, because I'm a thumb sucker as well, like when I fall asleep I suck my thumb, I know, I know, I know, I'm imagining that all my enemies will be like, oh my gosh, you're so unadjusted, well, I know, um, they said it was something to do with childhood bereavement, because I lost my mum when I was really little, it's like a, uh, like a habit that I had then, that just has never like, I've never grown out of it, and I just figure, you know what, you could be um, addicted to gambling and crack cocaine. If I'm addicted to a little cloffy, I'll take that. I'll take that. So that's there and it sits on my lap whilst I write. Um, some candles. My sister lights these when she comes over. Um, sometimes she does a little bit of work. So I've got those there. This is filled with Diet Coke. Not Pepsi, would you believe? Um, I drank it and then I poured it out and put pep uh, Diet Coke in. The books that I bought for my doodles, the how things work and look inside nature. I really want to get outside so much more this year. Oh, doesn't that just visually please you so much? There's so much to look at on in here. Oh, come here. You must open now to prove my point. Isn't that just pleasing? I can already cook two recipes out of this. I can cook the chicken cacciatore and the tagliatelle. But I want to go through it and pick ones that I'm going to give a go to for other things. I think I follow this guy on Instagram. Hang on a sec. Yeah, he's on Instagram. I follow him. He's called Prince of Points. Um, you can check him out if you want to. Oh, that's nice. They've got, like, not, like, actors, you know? <laughs> like, not what a book actor's called. Models? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, there's that. Let's chat. More working montage baby mm. Mm. yes this is where i saw my life being at the age of 33 at her desk with a diet coke living my very best life
just shut my laptop. I've been working in my soft office. I moved up here because you've got to switch up to keep to keep your mind like interested. I find if I sit in one place, I just sort of like drift off. Um, and I've got a man coming around to talk about a dog. Not literally a dog. You know when you say it, I'm going to go and see a man about a dog. I've got um, a builder and Raj, Esther's husband, coming over. So the builder is Raj's friend because I want to knock out a wall downstairs. So he's going to come and talk to me about the possibility of doing that. But obviously I won't film that because I never met him. It'd be a bit weird. This is my current view. Baby with ready for bed with pyjamas. Laptop because I've got a little bit of work I need to put live tonight. Baby, my stylish footstool just here. Yes, my stylish footstool. We bought this for Pearl's birth. Whoop, you're right. You're all right. Oh, that's my foot. Oh, put it back on. Okay, let me just turn the TV. Shush you. We bought this for Pearl's birthday, but we ended up unpacking it early because we wanted Darcy to enjoy it as well. And you don't know. You don't really know which day is your birthday, do you, my love? No. <laughs> no? It's like you said no. Uh, uh. No? Why does it say? Oh, yep. Get the door shut. Yeah! Well done. Well done, my scooter. Yeah, brum brum. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to film all the baby babble to remember it. Yeah. And then what happened? Oh. Okay. Oh, got your phone. Yeah, you make a call. You're saying hello, who's calling? Hello, who is it? You get to mummy. Ready? Five. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's mummy. Would you like to speak to Pearly? Okay, I'll pass you over. It says hello. It's Darcy. How are you? I miss you. I want to come home and cuddle you. <laughs> Do you like that? Yeah, is that good? Oh, and mummy, do it again. Okay. Oh. Hello. Yes, it's mummy. Hello, Darcy. Yes, I'll give you to your sister. Go on then. And she says, hello, Polly. Nice to speak to you. I miss you. Are you having fun in your car? Oh, bye-bye. That was good, wasn't it? Oh, that's going to get a bit annoying. That's going to get a bit... Oh, oh, we're still just going to do that noise. Ducky old mummy. We get to a certain point of day, usually around half six. Hello, sweetie. Where Pearl is just done and she's ready for her. I've got you. You want to get up? You want to come up? Okay. All right. Yeah, Pearl's just done now, aren't you, my love? The problem is, it's about quarter to seven. You don't want to do bedtime too early because then we're in the danger zone in the morning aren't we have you waking up crazy early what's that what's that it's a microwave it's a microwave it's mummy's oven <laughs> yeah yeah say hi everyone she's been using me as a human climbing frame which is why i look like this no we can't touch all of this i'm afraid can't touch all of this so it's nearly bedtime, <clears throat> Liam's working late tonight, really late, so I'll be putting her to bed and then I think I'm going to do, I, don't, oh, I need to do some more writing but also I haven't had any dinner yet so I don't know what I'm going to have salad, I kept thinking today have I forgotten to eat because I don't feel hungry but I've not eaten a lot today. 7pm and this is my current view, we've got Netflix and milkies netflix and milkies lovely pearl and i are watching instant hotel has anyone watched this i'm fascinated already i'm hooked i'm in what will they all think i need to know ah. i didn't realize how long i've been working for and i've left this in the oven and i can smell it from upstairs so i'm fearful it's burnt we'll find out together what are you doing in there 
Oh my goodness, you are a bit burnt. Let's take you out. I've tasted it and I don't really like it. And I paid $7.99 for it. You win some, you lose some, don't you? Because I had a meal from there last time and I really liked it a lot. It was like chicken with olives and chorizo. It was really nice. But this one, I don't know. Mm. I know to a lot of people this would be a really good thing. But it's just too chickeny. There's too many flakes of meat in there. Usually I like there to be chicken in things, but I just sort of eat round the chicken. I know that just sounds really ridiculous, doesn't it? Um, so I put a little bit on my plate to try it. Tried it, wasn't overly keen. So I might just have something else. Don't like to waste it, although it won't be a waste because Liam will eat that and then he'll take it for work as well. Um... I feel a bit sad about that because I was excited. But you win some, you lose some, and you've got to try new things to find out what you like. That's what I keep telling myself. Well, that's what Liam keeps telling me anyway. I just think you don't need to try new things and just keep trying the same things that you like, and then you don't have that problem. But apparently, as, as I always say that people say that I don't agree with, life begins when you step outside your comfort zone. But I would beg to differ. So it is a 9.17, I'm about to run a bath, but before I put the excessively noisy taps on, I'm going to answer some of the questions that I've been asked on Instagram today about money. One of my resolutions this year was to talk more freely and more comfortably about money because I just think it's helpful. Um, when I was starting out into adulthood, I had no clue about money at all. Um, I got myself really deep into my overdraft. I had to set up an overdraft plan to pay it back after like getting angry letters from the bank. I got myself in a pickle with my tax because I didn't know how to do it. Uh, it didn't budget well. It would always, I would always like get to two month, two weeks into the month, and then be like, oh, I've run out of money, and then we'd have to have like, like it was just. Then I would go into my overdraft to pay for things we absolutely needed, and we couldn't have the things we wanted, and. It was just a mess and I've definitely learned about money the hard way. One of the things that I really enjoy doing is watching YouTube videos about money. I watch The Financial Diet, I think that's quite good. Um, and I also think Jordan Page, who is an American vlogger with six children, and she does a lot of motherhood stuff, but she also does a lot on budgeting um, as well. Even though it's, and The Financial Diet are both American, so a lot of the time they talk about like American banking systems and stuff. That sounds more boring than it is. Um, you can still take a lot of the principles. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not an expert on money by any means, but over the last 10 years, I've learned a few things. So I thought if I could help, I will. So I will um, answer some of the questions here. Um, God, I've got to laugh because I did the post uh, saying, um, what are your questions about money? And my friend, Sammy Paul, hi Sammy if you're watching, which I know you're not, has put how much for the night? So that's nice. Priceless, couldn't afford me. Um, let's see, let's find a good one. So Pippa Granger says, general, how do pensions work? So again, I'm not an expert on any of these things, but I'm just gonna share with, oh my goodness, I'm just gonna share with you my general understanding of pensions and that is that if you are employed by a company in the UK it is their legal obligation to ask you if you would like to open a pension and what that means is every month they will take a little bit of your salary so let's say um let's say you're earning a thousand pounds they will take 30 pounds I'm just picking numbers out of thinner 30 pounds but also they will pay a percentage too so the standard um, amount that an employer should offer you is between two and three percent. So, if let's make this really easy. So, three percent of a thousand pounds is thirty pounds. Is it? I think it is. My bath is terrible. So, they will offer between twenty and thirty pounds as well, and then that will get put into a savings, um, a pension savings scheme for you. And then, when you reach retirement, you can withdraw that money and you can use that. And the point of a pension is whilst you are young and you are earning money, you need to start thinking about saving money for when you are old and you're not working because you'll still need to eat and travel. And I mean, you might have paid your mortgage 
off by then but if you're renting you'll need to rent or you know your utilities that kind of thing so that's the point of a mortgage however if you are your own boss like i am you have to start thinking about pensions for yourself and this is not something i had done until literally last year and it was a big wake-up call when i was like you know i'm 33 i don't really have a pension of any sort I do have a rental property that I own and I rent out, so I kind of always thought, oh, well, that'd be my pension. But then I realised, well, no, because in my mind, that's my children, so you can't have both, which is it? So I was like, right, I need to sort out a pension. So I am sorting out a pension for myself. But the only reason I know about the other bits of like what the employer has to do is because we employ our nanny, and as her employers, it was our legal obligation to offer her a pension scheme, which she did. Um, and yeah pensions <laughs> um Verena says how much money how much money should I save before having a child this is such a difficult question because I don't feel like I have the right to answer this when I was pregnant with Darcy we had no savings at all um we were not financially prepared for her really we had the bare minimum of everything we had the basic of everything Things like, um, you know, like baby bouncers and stuff. We just didn't have one because we just couldn't afford it. And stuff like, you know, bath thingy my bobbies. We were like, no, we'll just hold her in the bath. That'll be fine. So I do think that you can have a baby on little money in terms of baby things. I don't feel like Darcy missed out or had a bad babyhood because of our financial situation. However, you have to be aware that one of you, if you're in a couple, or you entirely, if you're on your own, is going to go down in your income because you're not going to be working. Um, and if you are working, you're going to have to pay for childcare. And childcare is so expensive. Um, I think that's the real stinger, is paying for nursery or a nanny or a childminder. So the answer is I don't know. And I'm sorry, but I mean... We had Darcy and we managed. You manage. You never, babies are a blessing and you manage. Um, let's see, let's see. Katie Marie says, how did you find an accountant you trusted? And that is such a good question because you need to have so much trust with your accountant, uh, which I really, really do with mine. And I think it's someone that just understands your needs. So first of all, to find him, I asked around, I asked so many people, do you have an accountant? Who is he or she? Uh, what firm do they work for, etc. Um, I have had many accountants. I've had um, ones that worked for themselves. I had a really, really fantastic accountant and I'm sorry to say that he passed away. He was ill and he died. So unfortunately, I then had to find my new one who I really, really love and trust. Um, I love and trust him so much. I've made him an executor of my will. <laughs> because he's so good um basically i asked around and then i researched the company a little bit just to make sure that it all looked above board i don't know how i would tell that but i just you know got a feel for it and then i just had a meeting with him i set up and said you know i'd love to work with you these are my needs and for me my needs were twofold one manage my money but two explain to me about money because i didn't understand anything so i was like look i appreciate that you know what you're talking about but when you talk to me you need to explain it really basically until I start to learn it and he took that on board and he's so nice and whenever I'm like I just I don't get it he takes the time to explain it to me so I really appreciate that so I think just meet someone see how you feel about them a personal recommendation is always really really worth it um and do your research just to make sure that they are uh you know who they say they are because they're going to be having a lot of your private information um let's see let's see oh this is a good one brom01 says what is your relationship with credit cards and my relationship with credit cards is i just don't have one i am spendy i enjoy shopping and spending money i hand over a card very easily and i just know that if i have a credit card i won't be responsible for it i know this because i used to have an overdraft and i was on my um, like current account a debit card and I was not responsible with it I do things like oh well you know what I'll just pay this back next month and then next month will come and I was like you know the phrase um 
what is it, robbing Peter to pay Paul, it was like that. Um, so I do not have a credit card, well I do have a credit card because I got one when I took out my business account but I don't use it. Um, and also I don't take out store cards either. You know at the tills when they say, oh do you only get 20% off today, you just have to take from a store card. Say no, just say no. So I don't have one because I don't trust myself to be responsible with it even now. However, if you know you're the kind of person that can be responsible with credit cards, sometimes it's worth getting one and then every month putting a little thing on it and then paying it off because if you consistently pay off your credit card, it's really good for your credit rating or your credit score and it's important to have a good credit rating and credit score because then when you do things like um, if you want to get a mortgage or you want to get a loan, which is debt but like the kind of debt that's generally acceptable I guess, um, you know, lenders are more likely to lend to you. Oh, oh my god. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Nutritious Nanny says, have you made investments in property? And the answer is yes. I bought a home, well I bought a house a year or two ago and I rent that out to a tenant, a lovely little family with a little boy the same age as Darcy um, and two cats as well. Um, and so every month they pay rent on that property. I lease it through an estate agent because they make sure like all the contracts are sorted and insurance and it's all like above board and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then eventually that property will go to my children or be a nest egg or just like a bit of security because I'm very aware that this career might not last forever. So I'm constantly finding ways to invest in things. I do have a few other investments as well, but that's the main property one. Um, Pippa says, how do you manage your finances? So to begin with, I managed them myself. Then I got an accountant. And then lately I've been seeing a financial advisor who advises what the best things are to do. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're earning a good salary, I would suggest paying out for a financial advisor because obviously they're like a total expert. Um, wah, 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 wah. I will do, oh. Um, the Crochet Ninja said, are you a spender or a saver? I would definitely say the majority of my life spender, but in the last, I'd say four or five years, I've become a saver, especially now I have two children. It's weird. When I had just Darcy, it was always like, oh, I'll make sure we're okay. But then two is like, oh wow, that's like a lot to, to be concerned about. One felt like, whatever happens, we'll make it work, but two, like, that's a thing, that's a thing, so now I'm really savvy. Molly, Molly Slist Neo says, best way to save and earn as a teen. So, as a teen, I was absolutely minted, and I'll tell you how I did it, I had three jobs. So, on a Saturday morning, I would work at my local chemist, um, and it was three pounds an hour and I would get my little bike and I would cycle up there uh, and I would work on the tills which I definitely think is illegal because I was under the age of 16 but there we are, the man there hired me and that was great and then as soon as I turned 16 I applied for a job at Morrison's supermarkets I think are really good places to start working because they don't always require you to have previous experience somewhere and you learn a lot of skills working in a supermarket. You work, learn to work with other people, you learn to be on time, you learn to be professional, you learn to be customer facing, um, and then you learn skills like using a till or stock replenishment or cleaning up or whatever department you're on. I was on stock replenishment, which is stacking shelves. And so I worked there and then I did overtime as well, um, like in, the, in my sixth form holidays and I babysat, so I made these leaflets and I'd wear my bike and I'd put them through everybody's door and I called myself the Collentry Park Babysitter and I had my rates on it and I had my skills. So my skills were, I put semi-fluent in French because I was I had done my GCSE French and I was, I got a B, so I was like semi-fluent, semi-fluent, un gomme, un roule. Um, and I put Havo and Transport, which was my push bike. Um, and then I put, uh, I can't remember what I put, but I was like, have, have meant, had lots of experience with children because my sister was little. Um, and basically, because I had been doing that, and then every lady or man, uh, generally it was like the lady I spoke to, that would employ me um, to look after their children, I would always say, please do recommend me to a friend. Um, and so they did. And then slowly I just got known as like the babysitter in my area. 
and I used to do three or four bookings a week for about £20, £30 a night. So let's say I'm earning like £80, £100 from babysitting and then I used to earn about £15 from the chemist because it's £3 an hour and then I would earn about £25 from my Sunday job, Morrison's. So I was earning like £150 a week as like a 16 year old and yeah that was that was pretty good. I would say with babysitting uh, you have to make sure that you're comfortable with the people whose homes you're going into and obviously always tell people where you are, that kind of thing. So I think that you should decide if that's for you or not, but at the time it worked well for me. So the answer to how I earned money as a teenager and saved it is I had jobs and then I would just save it and then I saved it all for uni and then blew it all on nights out with all my friends. Pet Ram Danette says, this nap might be awkward, but I'm genuinely curious, would you get a prenup if you marry Liam? And I don't think that's an awkward question. I think that's the kind of question we should be asking um, people when they say <laughs> we, that might be getting married. And I am always the worst person. When someone gets engaged, oh God, it's almost embarrassing. So my wonderful friend Maddie <laughs> got engaged recently. And whilst everyone was like, congratulations Maddie, I was like, congratulations, get a prenup, <laughs> which is, such a weird thing to say to someone because, so a prenup, a prenuptial agreement is a contract that you have with your fiance that basically says, if we get divorced, this is how we'll split the money up. If you don't have a prenup, when you get divorced, there is no, uh, like, the, you've not got anything in writing that you've agreed to. So you basically just have to hash it out. However, if you're at the divorce point in your relationship, you're probably not bffs and wildly in love anymore and you're probably not in that phase where you're where you're being super great to each other there are all kinds of different um ways that you can hash out the money once you split up you can do it yourselves and just be like right this is what we're going to do we're going to agree to this and then you go to your solicitor to get the divorce and you say this is what we agreed to um, you can sit with your solicitor and be like this is what i want and they'll sit with theirs so this is what i want and then you like fight it out it can go all the way to court. You can really drag each other like through the mud with this kind of stuff. If someone has a business, you can go for half their business. Um, you can fight over what percentage of the house. You can fight over money if there's children involved. If they have um, pensions for the future, you can fight over whether you're entitled to any of that pension money. It's just really a, a really difficult thing to do. I've been through a divorce myself and fortunately we were really decent to each other about it and um, I feel like we had a really good fair split on everything but I know so many people that have not had a fair split on things and I just think that you should go into a marriage with everything cleared up and I know a lot of people think yeah but if you're getting if you're happy to get married you should not be thinking about divorce because if you're thinking about divorce then probably you shouldn't get married i disagree entirely i have home insurance on my home so that if my home touch what it never does burns down it's insured i don't go into my home every day um thinking it might burn down obviously i never want it to burn down ever 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 but i have the insurance just in case so yes if liam and i ever did get married i would have a prenup I think that in England they are called a deed of trust. I know in America they're just called prenups. And in England there's been some issues over whether they hold up in court very well if they're contested and if it all gets hashed around. But ultimately I want to go into a marriage feeling really secure that if the worst happened and we did split up it would just be an easy clean thing to do and we could look at our contract and say okay we decided that in the event of a split, you'll have this, I'll have that, you won't touch this, I won't touch that. Thanks a lot, all the best, cheerio, see you later. So yes, I would, and I've told Liam this as well. I think it's best to have the conversation before anyone proposes because you don't want to be like, oh, yes, I will take this, but but are you up for a prenup? Um, so yeah, I would, I would, I mean, I'd be amazed if anyone's still watching until the end of this video, but I would be so interested to hear your thoughts on prenups and if I'm just like an old scarred divorcee that's like, oh, prenups, everyone's gonna have a prenup or 
I didn't the first time round, even though I was told to. And my dad was like, you should have something in writing for both of you to protect both of you. And I was like, no, we're going to love each other till the day we die. Why would we want this? And then, unfortunately, we didn't love each other till the day we died. And, you know, it's insurance. I look at it as insurance. Oh, I'm so jaded. Okay, I'm going to run a bath and take my clothes off and get in. I say take my clothes off because yesterday I was so tired, I got in the bath with my knickers on. Anyone ever done that before? Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it and please do leave a friendly comment. I read every single one and I will see you either on Wednesday at five or Sunday at nine. Thanks for watching, bye. Mm, great big prenuppy snogs.